Hi guys, Simarina here today and we're starting off with a bit of a speed build from uh, my first episode of my Ugly Zoo Let's Play that I have been streaming on Twitch. This was from my first stream of this sort of challenge. We're building in franchise mode and we're building a zoo just for ugly animals. Um, so I'm starting off by building a sort of a little entrance area that we can expand the zoo away from so that we don't fall into the hot trap of um, having like lots of exhibits close together in, in the in the front of the zoo and not having space to really expand or, or plan out so I was very conscious of having a little bit of a basic shape and plan before we got into the animals of it all so um the reason I wanted to do an ugly animal zoo is just because it was a little bit of fun and I thought you know it was it would be a nice challenge in the game to see how many sort of ugly creatures there are programmed into the game and um, we could fall in love with them and give them a little bit of tension that they might not necessarily get in regular society so it was just um, something I thought of a while ago and wanted to do when I eventually bought the game and then I bought it played it for like eight hours one night and then was like yep this is what I want to do on stream and then that weekend I decided to play on stream so I'm not totally like um savvy on the controls or like building at this stage I mean I'm still not and I've played you know quite a few hours I've, I've played probably about 40 hours of the game now and um you know I'm, I'm nowhere near master builder or anything like that so as you can see this is what I wanted to do with this sort of central area was to put in shops and facilities and get guests off of that main pathway and so that when they queue um, they don't block that pathway and guests can still you know go round and have those exhibits um, branching off of, of that main path um, so the reason this is all sped up, and I know I sort of probably skipped that at the beginning, but I'll tell you now. The reason it's all sped up at this stage is because when I downloaded the content from the stream, I realised it's actually quite laggy, and you know it's not because of the download or anything like that. I think the stream itself was just really laggy, and although the audio wasn't at all, the audio was completely smooth. Sorry, I think I'm about to sneeze. No. Yeah. No. Maybe. Hang on. Oh, no. Sorry, hay fever. It's a nightmare. Um, so although the audio was completely smooth, the video was really choppy and I just couldn't edit it in good conscience and leave it in at, you know, 100% speed. So I've sped it up and hopefully it makes it a bit easier to get through. Um, there's a couple of moments where it's going to feel like it's freeze framed, but I promise you it's not. It's... um it'll get itself through it eventually and i hope it's not too painful so we did start off with indian peafowls and common warthogs and i know that indian peafowls aren't necessarily ugly creatures and i don't you know i don't think that they are they are ugly at all but i made the mistake of i got so excited about looking at animals that i saw a all white indian peafowl for only one conservation point so she was really cheap and she was fairly decent in all of her stats so I bought her and then I was like oh yeah this is supposed to be for ugly animals whoops I guess we have to keep her because I can't sell her back and then I had to get a male as well and put them in their own exhibit and and just leave them in there so they don't stay in there forever um, but they they are there at first and this is me building the common warthog enclosure, making some space there for some toilets so that when guests are leaving the zoo or coming into the zoo, they do have a toilet facility to use. Um, I'm using a lot of sort of pre-built shelters and some of the pre-built facility buildings as well from um, Planet Zoo developers because it just seemed easier at the time. It was quicker to get it down because you can spend a couple of hours in Planet Zoo and not really get a lot done so I wanted to get enough done for it to be worth it on stream so that people didn't just see me building clusters of buildings but rather actually setting up a proper functioning zoo 
And look at the warthogs, aren't they gorgeous? I don't know why, but they're, they are actually my favourite. And it's they just took my heart right from the beginning, these little albino warthogs. And they're just so gorgeous. And I just love them, and I can't get over it. So it's quite fun to plant in these ex like habitats and really go through all the different details to make it suitable for whatever creature you're putting in there. You know, there is a lot of detail in there, and that's something I do really like about the game. Um, I find it's very difficult to actually get a decent education rating um, in the zoo. Like, I feel like you have to put in quite a lot. And they aren't... Well, they're not expensive, but they're not free. So if you are in franchise mode like this, where you don't have unlimited money, it can be a bit difficult in the beginning to get those those funds up and running. So the beginning, I think, in franchise mode is quite a grind. But once you have a few things in place, um, it starts to get a lot easier and um, you start making money pretty quickly after that. And almost bottomless, like it almost ends up unlimited because I do, like once you start really making money, um, you're never really going to run out of it, if that makes sense. Like as you get more and more in t in your zoo, as well, like you can up the price of the tickets and things, and, and then more people come because there's more there. So it, it all sort of feeds into itself. Um, so this zoo is actually based in the UK, uh, which is where I'm from. So I wanted with the franchise mode was to take this idea of the ugly animal zoo, which we've named Uglove, and to build it like you would a franchise so start in my native country and then when we get to a five star rating and everything sort of runs fairly smoothly and we complete most of those challenges that uh, we then move on and open a second space in an, on another continent in like a completely different area uh, and make it a completely different challenge so you know it's quite interesting I think it's going to be quite fun and then that means that we can experiment as we sort of learn how to use the controls properly we can experiment with different structures and, and things in different areas of the world so I think it's gonna be quite fun um, yeah so now we've got the warthogs and the p-files in I really wanted to to work on a front sign for the zoo um, with the name Uglove so I'll now build that little section and you know you just play with shapes I was trying to figure out what kind of style we wanted to go for and um, I wasn't really sure how, how big it had to be until I really went through all of these sort of decorative elements and they're quite versatile I mean there's not a lot that you start off with and um, I, I don't really know how much you can unlock through some of the themes but um, there's enough to, to get you going and be fairly contemporary basic and what I would say I've seen in in British zoos so I mean it's not in terms of the actual structure of the park it's nothing like a standard British zoo but um, like the wood paneling things like that that's quite you know similar to what what we would do here um, that sort of contemporary feel um, so yeah we decided to call it Uglove because it's the love of ugly animals and it kind of sounds like a glove which made me think of um, what's that film the pet detective films we go with Jim Carrey he's like like a glove so it kind of made me think of that as well and I, I loved that film um, and yeah, like I said, there's going to be these laggy moments and it's not frozen, it's not stuck. It's just, I don't know what happened with the stream. My, my internet isn't great. So I think it was just back then when I didn't know what I was doing and how to really manage stream elements that it was um, it was a bit difficult and I didn't know that it was it was behaving that way. So we're changing up the facilities already because I don't know if you saw, but the way it was set up before even though I'd squared off like this plaza area when I placed the buildings it, it curved off some of the corners and I just hated it so I wanted to make it like this so it was really sharp 
um, and square and then just decorate it in with, with some benches and put in sort of a lamp and security cameras and some trees to really thicken it out, make it feel fleshed out um, and a bit prettier so people were happier there. Because I think, I think some of that decoration and environment really does affect guests. So the, the plants, I mean, they do cost a fair bit, but it was, it was worth putting it in just to take a little break from from building pathways and and structures to to just look at plants for a little while um i must say the graphics in this game are absolutely gorgeous and i cannot get over it um especially when you zoom in on the animals and you just watch them for a while like it's really amazing they did a really good job and i think we'll be coming into seeing um the warthogs have a baby or they're gonna mate. Yeah, I think they're gonna have a baby soon. Um, and some of the trees that like, you learn quite a lot. It's a very educational game. Uh, you really do learn quite a lot about about different species of animals through playing this game. And it's actually really fun. But you can easily put in so many hours uh, and get lost in in building something. So our albino warthogs here, I think, are about to have a baby. Um, and because we are franchise mode and we don't have unlimited money, we had to really be careful of what we bought. And um, so I think I'm going through to see what there was and who I could afford or with decent statistics as well. Um, and that's my avatar has come to the zoo and, and checked, <laughs> checked the zoo out. So it's quite fun that way, I guess, a little bit. <laughs> I've put everything into one work zone as well, just to make it easier in the beginning and make sure that the staff use the correct facilities and go to the correct places and they don't get lost and it just it just makes the programming work better if everything is in a work zone um obviously it's not going to always be in one whole work zone you know as it expands I'll, I'll break it up a bit more but it's just it's easier in the beginning that way um yeah i was working out with these hedges how tall I could make it so that if um, guests could just look over the hedge to see the animals rather than um, having to have a barrier and put windows in and you can't put windows into hedges but look at the baby albino warthogs I just want to squeeze him he's so cute oh they're just so beautiful I just love those albino warthogs look at his punchy little face oh <laughs> I'm sorry but they're just so cute in, in their little ugly beauty. They're just adorable. I absolutely love those albino warhawks. They just took my heart from the first minute I put them in. And I was like, yes. And I still fight for my albino warthogs now. Uh, and we're a few episodes in now. I'm sort of recording this um, in preparation for this to go on YouTube. So it's been a while for me to get around to actually doing it. So <laughs> it's been a while. Hopefully this will work. You know, I'm still figuring a lot of elements out with with Twitch and with YouTube. So it's definitely a learning curve, but I am enjoying every minute of it. So it's really fun. So if you can like, comment and subscribe to help me out, that'd be great. Show your support um, and even go on to Twitch. You know, the I'll leave it in the description below my Twitch channel and you can have a look there uh, and follow that one. So we're looking, you know, you can see a little example of the kinds of animals that there are. And that was quite difficult to find ones that would fit our criteria and the ones that would be affordable for us to even get at this point, you know, with 3000. So that's when we started looking into exhibit animals, um, which can breed quite a lot. And in franchise mode, you can't actually um, release them to the wild. You have to sell them for cash. So they can be quite lucrative getting those sort of exhibit animals. But I think we're about to look at the peafowls and them having babies. And I'll let you see how I freak out and go into live act. Got three babies, three Indian peafowl babies, bring in the customers, bring them in. Let's let them see all the babies, four babies. I'm sorry, what? Four babies? Are you seeing this? There's four babies. There's, there's four babies. 
There's four babies. All right. Okay. Have four babies. See, see what I can do about it. Absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing I can do about that. Um. Yeah, let's go by. Let's maybe let's go by species. Snakes. I mean, Titan beetles are pretty ugly. I almost got good fertility. I mean, his longevity isn't great, but let's get him. That was a mistake. Uh, let's get her. We've got a beetle and a cockroach. Okay. We're going to do an exhibit. An ex exhibit. We're going to create a little exhibit. Um, place. 20. We'll sell it. For 15. Oh, okay. So I do lose. Um, let's just move you over there and let's move you over there and we're going to move you to there because hear me out extra for jackpot yeah four baby peafowls what even is that um exhibit three thousand excuse me that's like all of our money are you serious right now? That was all of our money. But that's... But that's all of our money. <laughs> no! Okay, fine. It was going to be like super fun, whatever, but fine. It's just not going to be. Fine. Oh my god, see, like, all the guests are here now. Like, oh my god, we have babies. This still has had zero donation. Uh, we're looking through to see if we can afford any other animal. But this is Ugsu, so we need ugly animals. Doll sheep, are they, are they ugly, though? Um... We could get sheep. Sheep. I'm so sad that it costs. Oh my god. Okay, well we maybe we have a little bit of money now. Okay, so best ta tapirs. I mean, he's not very expensive. He's not very good. But he's not very expensive. Ostrich. You know what? Okay, so first let's look at common ostriches, and then we're gonna look at beds tapirs. Um, let's look at common ostrich. Oh, and oh, maybe we can look at them both at the same time. And beds, tapirs, filter by price. Boy ostrich, boy ostrich, boy 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 ostrich, boy boy ostrich, boy boy girl ostrich, and not too much. Oh, albino ostriches. This is going to be a white zoo. Should I get white ostriches? Um, I feel like I shouldn't get white ostriches. Um, I could maybe get a girl for 29 of them. So let's get her. I'm just going to get regular bog standard ostriches. And then I need a boy, but I want a decent, a decent, a decent boy. Hang on, all these are girls now. What just happened? Oh, they all left. Okay. Um. Okay, fine. Let's get that one. Okay. Well, these are all ostriches now. What is happening? Um. With common ostriches, I am a common ostriches. One male. Okay. Disappointing. We have a girl and a boy ostrich. We can get more girls. Um, I want at least decent fertility. I mean, she's not bad. She's a bit old, but she's not bad. I might just get her because she's not very expensive. She is bronze. She's 18 points. So I really don't want to spend any more points. Um, 
You know you wainy too? What does that mean? Can you sing English words? Um, animal training, just let me, let me, do, let me go. Animals! Um, okay, so tapirs. Boy, not great. Girl, not terrible. Old, but not terrible. It's pretty good. I can put, if I put him in the thing, he might be okay. He's only 300. You know what, you know what, can we, um, can we get rid of the common ostrich, please? I just want to look at tapirs right now. Oh, my notes. <laughs> my notes. <laughs> Nothing wrong with, yeah, but if they're old and they're not going to last very long, they'll die pretty soon, and the problem with that is that it makes, uh, people sad. And it's not fun. Okay, so maybe maybe we get him because his size isn't great, but he's young, fertile, and I can put him in in the um, other place. I don't know what that means. You know what? Let's get the old girl. Why not? Let's pause for a minute. Why did my phone go off? Oh, it's you. It's just you. Um, okay. So we can start going this way around now. Sorry. Sorry, that sounded really gross. Hang on. Hang on, I'm just gonna... So yeah, I think I want to go this way. Let's actually, um, no, this one. I want to look at my power. Oh, okay. So I could, I could put things here and then just put a generator down here somewhere. Yeah, I don't see why I can't do that. Or I just build this way and then make another service area. But no, we're going to go this way because I don't want. We have a fair bit of money now. I'm going to get the exhibit as well. But, barriers. So, animals. 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 We've got tapirs and ostriches. I think let's do tapirs first, because I think they're going to need less space. Um, bed tapirs. Oh, one male, one female. Well, that's perfect. One male, one female. It's exactly what we got. So, I'm glad I, um, I checked. 430 meters, so that's, I mean, that's, that's fine. Oh, more than a meter. So it can be at, at least a meter high, which is tall enough for them to look, for guests to look over. So that's not too bad. Um, they do need water. So we need to put water in, in there. So that's fine. Okay. All right. All right. Um, what, what grade? Grade two. So I think just the wood one would be fine. Um, it's expensive-ish. I mean, I don't really want to use corrugated. I am. Chain link is even more expensive. Um. All right. I'm gonna make it like a meter. Yeah. I'm gonna make it a meter. I 
I don't really know what I'm doing here. But I'm pretty sure this is going to be big enough. Pretty, pretty darn sure. Okay. What we will need is a Jenny though. And probably a water treatment. So I'm going to need a Jenny. So we're going to need a generator. Um, I think I'm going to make her probably as close as I can to there. Just to get as much reach as I can, quite honestly. Um, water treatment? Absolutely not. So we are going to need a water treatment um, as well. Oh. Okay, and then terrain sculptings. They need a little bit of water. I think probably to swim in, to be honest. I didn't actually check if the do common warthogs also need water, or did I just not check? Oh no, they don't need water. Okay, great. Okay, great. These guys need water. Not a lot, but they would like water. of water and the land is massive so I could probably actually cut this down a lot I'm gonna actually edit I'm actually I'm actually gonna cut it down a lot oh that's not what I wanted delete It should be tall enough to not need a... Well, the thing is, it is a metre, and it did say do more than a metre. So I might just do it up to a metre and a half. Yeah. And then I'm going to do windows... Uh, oh, that's not what I wanted. Here and here. And here and... Yes. Maybe. Um, and then, uh, have a bit. No. Oh, my nose again. Sorry, that sounded really gross. Uh, you there. Um, you know what? That that window doesn't need to be. That doesn't need a window. Doesn't need a window. Um. like totally in the way now. You there, you there, and you there. Oh yeah, you don't have an animal you yet, obviously. Okay, so that didn't cost us too much. So you can be moved to quarantine. And you can be moved to quarantine. So I'm going to get a couple of keeper huts. Maybe. Staff facilities. Um, da, 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 1,000. Um, keep a hurt you. Wait, what? what? He's here already? Oh no, I wanted him already. Um, we're gonna put a workshop in, maybe.
Okay, we're just going to do a, a keeper hut because we can't afford anything else right now. Okay, I've already been on for two hours, but I don't care. I love this game, and you you, you need to put in more than two hours every time. I swear to God. Um, okay, we're just going to speed you up. Great. Move you tapirs to this habitat. And I need to name this habitat Tapirs Bed Bed Tapirs Beds Tapirs Oh, shoot. Okay. Um, of course, that makes sense. That makes absolute sense. Um, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna put you guys all in there. I know it's a lot right now, but I'm just gonna do it. And you're all gonna be there. You just, you're gonna have to live with that and be happy about it. Um, Darcy. Darcy, right, there's two of you researching, and there are two workshops, so you should both be able to research at once, and one of you's not even doing anything. Education one? What? I need more education boards. God damn it, okay. Um, 24 months, we have a year. Um, just don't lie to me, okay? Don't lie to me, there are workshops. Unless... No, maybe that's it. Okay. Alright, well, in that case... Maybe this gets deleted, and instead we put a, uh, a research... Can we put a small research after that? There you go. Staff is so needy. Is this it? Basically, kind of. It's by the same people that made um um roller coat. No, maybe Z Tycoon Three. You think? So it's made by Frontier, uh, and this is the zoo version of Planet Coaster. So they did Planet Coaster, and then they did Planet Zoo, and it just came out last autumn. So terrain. I'm going to show you some babies in a minute, so stay there. No, oh, terrain. Okay. Oh, not too much short grass, guys. Come on, calm down. Some soil. Love you some soil. Okay, get some soil. A little bit of rock. Sand. Let's get some soil and some sand mixed in there. Oh, that's maybe too much sand. And just some short grass again. I do love your soil. Hang on. Okay. You've got loads of water space. You've got loads of land space. Plants. We need. We need plants. We need plants. Uh, biomes. You want tropical, grassland, and temperate. And continents, South Central America. Okay. Aw. Water lilies. That's cute. Aww. Yeah, I'm gonna put some water lilies there. They sound really adorable. Obviously. 
okay. All right, okay. Well, we've got some. Oh, whoa. It's a big, it's a big tree. That's not a big tree. That's a big tree. That's a big tree. That's a little tree. This was more appropriate. Uh, I have no idea where to put it. Maybe there. Fig tree. Cute. Okay, coverage is. They're kind of happy with coverage. Happy with plants, but I'm gonna put in more. Is this mustard? No. Cheese Swiss cheese puff? Are you kidding me right now? Oh my god, sorry, god. Alright, tickle. Alright, nostril tickle. Oh my Sorry, I'm just like discovering things. Oh, that's that big tree again. Oh, that's a big tree as well. That's not, that's, not, that's a little tree. I can go there. Absolutely no idea what I'm doing, by the way. That's terrible. Um, that, that is terrible. I'm gonna move you, and I think I'm gonna spin you about a bit. I'm gonna move you, maybe shift you up a bit. I'm gonna move you to back here, because I can. Move the leg up. Um, why not? And then we're gonna just put some, we're gonna get some sort of lowland plants in here a little bit. I have no idea what I'm doing, by the way. Can you tell? more bushy type things. I don't want to lie to surface. Um, oof. All right. Are you guys happy with that? I mean, you do love it. So I kind of can't blame you. Uh, habitat then. Let's look at species you are bears tapir you got some you've got scent markers already aren't you lucky we'll get you a that and one of these for fun uh you're gonna have a medium one because i'm not in need of money you don't need water because you've got this water. You don't need to climb on anything. Temperature wise, you guys should be good, right? Because. Yeah, I'm trying to. Okay, you need hard shelter. Hard shelter. Um, I think just one of these. Honest, honestly. Honestly. Maybe. Quite big creatures though, so maybe maybe something like that. And maybe move this more this way. I have this more. I do. I do like that though. I do like that. Bedding. There. There. They should be happy. You should be ecstatic. Absolutely loving life. Good. Ha great. Oh, come on, it's about to mature. Oh yeah, you need to see babies. Look, Emma, look at this baby. Why can't I move around to see this baby? <coughs> Something's wrong with this UI. There we go. 
and he's about to grow up and become an adult. Right now he's a baby. He's a baby. I don't know why he's not growing up. He should grow up. He's an albino baby, but he's a baby. Oh, he's eating more. He's a hungry baby. Um, both of them should be aging up really soon. Okay. Um, how about how are the pea fowls doing? So we've got baby pea fowls. I know any cute. So we got baby pea fowls. She had four at once. It's crazy. We still have four. Yeah, we still got four babies. Okay. Okay. Oh yeah. Now I need to set these. I need to set these two tapirs. Tapirs. So the idea of Planet Zoo, Emma. By the way, because you weren't here, the idea is to um, breed. What? Oh look, he's a big boy now. Is to so the idea is to breed animals, um, essentially in captivity, but raise them healthy and happy so that they could be released into the wild. So here I click release to wild and I get points. I don't know. Okay. Um, and so the idea is to is you then get these leaf points, which are conservation points. And this is how you can get them by releasing animals into the wild, selling animals in the marketplace, greeting avatars that visit your zoo. I, I don't understand that. Logging in daily, apparently. Okay, fine. Completing community challenges and having all educated guests. So these boards and these um, speakers educate guests. So that's how you can get conservation points. But also just I think the main way is to breed and, uh, and release. So we went, so this zoo, I really wanted to do a zoo that just had ugly animals. So just to give some love to all the all the animals that are a little, little ugly and unloved, just for fun. Um, so the first ones we got were albino warthogs. And I don't know why, okay, come on, camera, there we go. So the first ones we got were albino warthogs, and then we got, I accidentally, um, picked her and I know she's not ugly she's beautiful she's like the princess of all peacocks but um or peafowls I should say um but it was an accident because she was only available for one conservation point so I bought her oh my god all these babies are so needy um and I was like oh darn it now I'm gonna have to get a boy pumba yeah exactly but white pumba you don't understand it's white pumba <laughs> so I was like, great, I have to get a boy, Peafowl. And then um, I thought, well, they're not exactly ugly creatures, but the sound they make is pretty ugly, and their personalities in general are not great. So they still kind of count. That's how they count to me. So they still count. In my opinion. In my humble opinion. They still count. Oh, my nose will not quit today, by the way. Ugh. Um, yeah, so tapirs, they're kind of ugly, but I find them adorable. Where are you? Where are you? Let me click on you. They, well, there's another one. Look at your little faces. I love tapirs. They're so cute. But yeah, that's the game. Oh yeah, I got both of the uh, DLC packs. So I got the Arctic pack and the, uh, was it South America? I think it's called, I'm not sure, but yeah, I got both of them, because it was like in a deal with the main game, and it was like 15% off every, like in total, so you could save 15%. Right, let's do some things here, I think maybe staff facilities, it would be nice to have some larger staff facilities, so I'm going to put you there. So you need to get back up to three thousand dollars because I want to buy an exhibition 
thing. We got ostriches because ostriches are pretty ugly. So I got some ostriches, but they're currently in the trade center. Um, and I haven't got them in yet. And then we got some some beetles and some burrowing cockroaches. You can definitely drop 41. 41.99? Mine was 51. Have they made it cheaper? Because there's two there's two DLCs. I would definitely recommend it. You can easily put in a lot of hours into it though. Like I've already been on this for two and a half hours and we've only gotten this far. But I think the first time I the first day I played it I put in six hours easy. The first week, I put in like 25 hours. Yeah, it's, it's really easy to, to drop time and money on this thing. But it's great because there's no like in-game in -game purchases or anything like that. It's just, oh, it's just so addictive and it's so pretty. It does take a lot up on your device though, so you kind of want a laptop that can handle it. I don't know if yours is capable of handling it well. Okay, so this, I need to actually deal with this, because there's alerts going on here. Okay, so let's go to zoo animals. Um, so this is a good way when they've had babies to, um, to figure out who to get rid of. So he's the alpha male and he's the eldest. So you're the young one and you're a young one. So you should be the sons should be able to no I'm not gonna send you I think I'm just gonna release you straight away because we need to release you straight away. Right, we need to release you um release to the wild and I get 28 points back the, the audio on this is amazing though um, just check if you go on Steam and you're looking at the game, just go down to the recommend recommended specs because it takes up a lot of memory. So that's the only thing I wonder that might not be great with your new laptop because I don't like you need like 16 gigs just for this one game. So if you already have Sims or whatever on yours, I don't know if. If it can cope. But if it can, that's great, then get it. Because I need you to get it, I need you to have an avatar, I need you to see my zoo. Okay? And I want to be able to see your zoos. And I want us to be friends. Okay? But it's, it is a very fun game. I 10 out of 10 recommend. Our zoo is called Ugg Love because it's to love all the ugly animals and I started making a banner and this is what we made. I need to move this. It takes a minute to get used to the controls but I mean after like a good day on it we're pretty, we're pretty set. Oh my god. This is just terrible. There we go. There we go. Guest numbers. Oh, we got up to 300 guests. It's gone down to 295 again, but we did. So what do we get for that? Did we get money? What did we get for that? Nothing good. Okay. Not just so far, and that is taking up too much. Love the name. Well, Photoshop does take up a lot, especially the version you have. Um. So can. Have you checked the specs and, and what specs you have and can you buy it? Because you should, you should buy it. Um, I'm going to get one of you and we're just going to have you open for now. Put 
you there. Thank you there. I'm going to put you there. Because... We're going to put you guys in there. And we're going to get some giant cockroaches. Just super gross. But they're going to love it. So I need to set the temperature. Uh, 23 looks like it could be good. And the humidity needs to be higher. Maybe maybe there. Oh yeah, keeper can't reach the exhibit. Okay, yeah. Uh, staff. There's so much management to this game. As well. Like uh, creating work zones. I should really split this up a little bit more now, but I can't afford to get more facilities. So, I'm not gonna yet. They're just gonna have to be overwhelmed. <laughs> They'll just have to be overwhelmed. Is that floaty? It was floaty. Interesting. Uh, that's going to be giant burrowing cockroach. Save. Um, so layout's not great because you haven't researched anything. Maybe 25 degrees then. You happy? 27 degrees? 27. That's good. Okay, 27. <laughs> 60 now, so. Um, okay. So you guys are happy. I think it's sometimes with these exhibit animals, they breed like crazy from people that I've seen. Oh yeah, do you want to see my avatar? Apparently I'm visiting my own zoo. Look at me. Took ages. Look at me. My shoes match my shirt. I don't know where I'm going, but it's fun. I'm having a great time. But I'm having a great time. I'm having fun. Low cash. He's having on low cash, but I mean, I have got low cash. But we we're still making money. We still make a money. So if you made any money yet, you've made zero. You have made zero. I wonder if that's because they can't see the peafowls? I wonder if I should make oh, if I should make this wood and, and then put a window in it. I think it might be time. And then that's going to be a window. And we're going to bring that up. I don't know to what. To just there. Yeah, you do definitely want to check before you drop that money on, on the game. You definitely want to check. What is going on here? Okay. So hopefully, now that that's like that, that should, um, they should give me money for that now. Yep. Oh, look at them. They're happy. <gasps> She's pregnant already. That's amazing. We're going to have baby tapirs, guys. This is no joke. Baby tapirs. WhatsApp is going off the hook. <sighs> How are these not aged up? These are still juveniles. They've been juveniles for ages as well. Like years. Years. Mm. Spectre is arriving in 11 months. At least this time we'll have you know, more for him to see. I mean, this has already made 100 bucks since we put it in. People love the cockroaches. 120 bucks. They love the cockroaches. There are no vendors here. I think I'm going to have to hire more vendors. 
Um, you two. Let's get. F let's just get four. Let's have two per. Just have two per shop so that it's never empty. Never empty. Oh my god, I can smell mum baking. Oh, I smell cake. My mouth's just watered real bad. I don't know. So we don't earn that much from souvenir profits, but we don't even have any souvenir shops, so I'm researching souvenir shops. That was hard to say. Adopt habitat species. Adopt and place two different habitat species. Have I not? I've done that though, have I not? Maybe it's because we use conservation points rather than money. Maybe. Release to the wild. Release three Indian peafowls to the wild. Well, if they went ahead and grew up, I would do that. Um, we did adopt ostriches. Uh, but we haven't placed them yet because we can't afford it because we have 200 bucks. <laughs> So, let's speed up time here then. Are we... Oh no, I don't want that one. That one. Researching anything. No. So you go for the tapirs and you go for her. Not doing that, so that's nice. Well, money just dropped. <gasps> real low, real quick. She had more babies! <laughs> She just had fresh babies. And I think she had two again as well. Yep, she just had two again. Esha and Izoki. Izoki? Izoki. Amazing. Amazing. So it's two juveniles, three females. Oh, she had two baby girls this time. Two baby girls this time. First time she had two baby boys, now she had two baby girls. Well, that's nice. That's nice. These babies. Okay, let's quickly look at Indian peafowls and how long it takes for them to grow up. Because I need, I need to see this. Life expectancy is 23 years. Number of offspring per mating is 2 to 6. So 4 is pretty good. Gestation incubation is a month. Interbirth is 12 months. Three years to maturity, or sexual maturity, but I guess that's also maturity. Okay. Overpriced. Fine. Six. Four. Um. Do you still think it's overpriced? Do you still think it's overpriced? Fine. Go back down to five and three. Jeez thought now that we've got like a fair amount of animals you'd be fine <gasps> offspring I need to sneeze again we're having a baby maybe like when she's had the baby I might up the price of the tickets again so if they want to come see the tapia baby they need to pay oh Okay, good. Good. So what did you learn? Large keeper hut. That's very good. That's very good. Well done. They got some food enrichment. Um, and food was unlocked. Good. And you guys got some layout stuff, I imagine. Still not having your baby. Oh, wait, what? Souvenir profits? Do loony balloons count as souvenirs? Maybe they do. Earn a yearly souvenir profit of 500. Or maybe, maybe loony balloons count as, as uh, souvenirs, apparently. It's nice to know. I mean, we're back up to 2,000 already. That's pretty good, just by raising food prices a little bit. Gotta tell ya, kind of a genius. Have the baby. 
I mean, 10 years old, 11 years old. Let's look at these PFLs. 2.9, 2.9, 2.9. So they're going to age up soon. They're going to age up real soon, which is good. They haven't bred yet. They're still in the trading center. I need another 3,000 bucks to buy another... Um, it says low cash price. Low cash. Um, She had the baby. <gasps> Look at it. Oh. oh, it's so cute. It's so cute. Look at him go. Those stripes. So cute. Oh my god. So cute and stripey. She's such a cutie. I think she only had one. I think she only had one baby. Yeah, they only had one baby. Do they always only have one cub? What are they called again? <laughs> what are they called again? Beds Tapias. Yeah, one one baby. Twenty four month into birth period. Wow. Wow. Takes them two years. I think that means of pregnancy. I think that's what it means. Hard to say. And then within two years, uh, she's mature, which is interesting. So have these uh, have these P files aged up yet? got babies here as well haven't we everyone's got babies that's it zoo prices are going up zoo prices are going up because we got a baby we got a baby oh yeah we've got obviously some things here let's um uh 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 yeah, enrichment. Oh, you got a box. You can have a box. You can have a, a scratching post thingy. You want a scratching post thingy? Where would you like to have the scratching post thingy? Can I afford it? Of course I can. It's a hundred bucks. You can have it there. Uh, a ball. Would you like? A, would you like a ball? You can have a ball. You can have everything you want. Um. That and. I mean, I just gave them a lot of toys. You can also have that. You should be happy now. You should be more than happy now. Um, yes, P files are about to mature. That's great. Uh, I might with these guys. We'll give him... Which? Wait. No, I think I like that one because it's right there. Um, yes and yes. And then I'm going to make that 3D. Cool. I don't meet the system requirements on my laptop. Go to check my computer. <laughs> Wait, do you have, you have a tower computer as well? Wait, what? The warthog had offspring again? Did she? Did she? No. No, she didn't. Okay, I was like, what? Did she? Inspector has arrived. Okay, good. Vet research. Cockroach. Good. Um, good. Good, 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 good. Good. Can we get him anything? Can we get them anything? Can we do anything for you? No, I think it's just information. Okay, so you guys, have you aged up yet? <laughs> no, you're about to. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, I have my laptop for casual use and my tower computer for it. Well, that makes sense. Um, yes, they've matured. Did they just mature? Did they just mature? One matured. Great. Another one just matured. I mean, if you do have the specs on your tower, um, it will not for long be used just for work. It will soon be used for many, many more things, like Planet Zoo. But it's so good. Because I know you used to like um, Zoo Tycoon. You loved Zoo Tycoon. Um, everyone loved Zoo Tycoon. This is just like so much better and they did everything so good. The updates they've already had have been amazing. Um, so yeah, they've been they've been really good. Um, so source. So this one is a newborn. Well, a newborn. New, the young one, young one, and the other one. So I'm getting rid of these because I don't want the father to accidentally um, breed with his daughters. So interbreeding is a thing, and we need to. We do need to release. An, oh, she got. She's got a lot of points. Oh, please, the music. Love the music. Um, oh, we could get another. Oh, yes, we can get another. Where am I? Where am I? Where am I? Here. It's going to be pretty much most of our money. We've been traded out. Great. But we can get another exhibit. Oh, my belly is a bumbling. Seriously? Seriously? I can't. Oh, right. Yeah, right. Um, I'm gonna get one of you, duplicate, and put you there. Um, and now. And get you there. So you should now have the Titan built beetle. Titan! It's, I mean, you're very similar exhibits. I am not gonna lie. Very similar. I'm gonna put you up a little bit and I'm gonna put you about the same. Oh, shit. Shoot. Shoot. Of course. Uh, staff. Work zones. Edit. I'm going to split these off eventually when I can afford more buildings, but at the minute I can't. Can't do it. Can't do it. Can't do it, you guys. Um, so, windows. You're going to... No. Yep. Yep. And yep. And you're going to be 3D. You're going to be 3D. And you're going to be 3D. I would like to be able to access here. So I might see if I can um, um, No, that's not what I wanted. I just want to do that. need all this space you know like technically they have a lot more space than they actually need are you serious there we go oh my god bloody nightmare um, then I'm going to duplicate you and swing you around and put you there. You're going to be the beetle and I'm going to open a window. No. Three. No. No. Yes. Okay, good. Good. This is good. Um, and I'm going to put one of you...
bring me money. Or bring me death. So vet research wise. Tapiers do need some stuff, but I'm gonna get Tanisha onto the Titan Beetle because the cockroaches have had quite a bit. So I need you to get over there. Um, speaking of education, how much are these? Oh, these are only 30 bucks. Oh, I should be doing more of these. Oopsie doopsie. One of you there. One of you there. Definitely should have been doing way more of these. Um, boop. 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 Because with the um, inspector coming fairly soon, uh, ecotourism, that one, this one's going to be land sharing, uh, traditional medicine for reasons, I don't know why you would, but apparently, and repair the ozone on that one, and over on these, one is going to be uh, amphibian extinction. Even though we don't have amphibians here, and what's going to be deforestation? I think that's good. I think that's a good, it's a good beginning, guys. You know what? We could probably get more of those. About we can maybe get one here. You know, like we should probably get them around. probably have some oh, I don't really want to clog the entrance so actually we're not gonna put somewhere but this one can be about um, poaching because al albino albino rhinos no um, albino whatever they are what are they what hogs they could be poached for their tusks we don't know so poaching um, be good. Tapirs, good. Um, so tapirs, what would make sense around the tapirs? Climate change? Have we done climate change yet? We have not. Let's do climate change. Low on cash. Many guests think your tickets are overpriced. Well, they can suck it. Now nah, let's go down to six. That's not very expensive. I mean, there are zoos that are like 40 odd quid. You know? Um, I think let's let's work on the sign some more because why not, right? Why not? <gasps> Look at these props. They're not great, to be honest with you. They're not great. Uh, send a few no lights. I mean, we could put lights on it. We probably should put lights on it. Uh, align to surface. There, you there. Oh, you there. Okay, you there. Because, obviously. Um, how much were they? $10 each? Um, Inspector in 23 months. Wait, did the in inspector come already? Oh. So did you did you check, Emma? Did you check? <laughs> did you check? cactus for no reason yes the titan beetle had offspring already see what i mean they just they breed so quick okay so the titan beetles baby baby wait what oh maybe they need to be older 
For the rest of the wild as the following issues apply. Animal could not survive in the wild, except animals cannot be released in franchise. Oh, are you serious? Okay, well let's send them to Trade Center. And let's see if we can at least sell them. Are you serious right now? Um, Beetle still haven't had babies. Um, alright. Exhibit trading. Apparently, trade you for money. Your graphics card. Well, you could always, you could buy a graphics card and try to install it yourself, like a new one. Might be cheaper than getting something new. This is why I dropped so much cash on this laptop. If you remember. If, if you remember. <laughs> Do you? Um, because of the, the, the sort of Hippo face. There's not really much I can do here. Not really much I can I can add. Maybe that there. No, it's not what I wanted. That's what I wanted. I'll be looking at updating my computer in the next year or two. Alright, well then. You know, you got things to think about. I don't know what else to do with this back here. Or just stick like a giraffe's head in there? But this is one of the reasons why I updated it as much as like, I got at the specs that I did. Um, because, mainly because of this. <gasps> Rhino? Snake? Maybe we should just put some snakes in here. <gasps> Sp giant spider, oh my god. I definitely should put a spider on there, but I don't know if I want a giant one. Screw it, giant spider. Makes no sense where it is, but giant spider it is. Ostrich. Hippo. Yep, hippo can go there. The snake up there. Happy. Okay, so the tapir system stuff. That's a pretty cool sign. I kind of love that now. <laughs> I do kind of love that though. Um, so you guys can get some kind of log thing, I guess. Let's see. Let's have a look. What log? Can't see that log. Can I see that log? Oh, I see that log there. It's very similar to the other exhibit, actually. Yeah, that's, you're just going to get that one. Yeah, you're getting that one. It's essentially the exact same. Um, Exhibit. Yeah, hay fever. It got really bad yesterday. Uh, my eyes were really itchy, and I was at work where there is bunny fluff and chinchilla fluff around the place. So it was not fun. Um, I washed my hands several thousand times. Um, but yeah, it's hay fever. And yes, I'm taking the tablets. No, I'm not taking nasal spray because it's not really that bad yet. Uh, and I hate the nasal spray. But when I stop being able to breathe, then I'll have the um, the inhaler again. That I got last year in the summer. This is still like the springtime maybe, but it'll get a lot worse. She's about to have babies again. Mm. I wonder if we'll get any white ones. Because she only had um, the coloured ones last time. Oh, one, two. It's two. 
Oh, she's having an itch while she gives birth. Three. She just fluffed that one out of her feathers. Interesting. Four. Any more for any more? Any more? You can have up to six. You can feel free to have up to six if you want. No? Four. I think it's just going to be four. Staff facilities. Oh, what did we learn? Large staff room and large keeper hut. Okay, in that case... How much money have we got? Um, low on cash. I understand. I understand. Ooh. Breed new habitat animal. I mean, I'll take it. That's money. I'll take the money. Um, okay, let's let's look at these facilities. Um, we did unlock the large keeper and the large staff room so that's a large keeper so if i delete this i got some money back five thousand but if i put that keeper hut there and i delete that one if i get another thousand back from that that's at least two thousand in return I just put this large one down here, at least that it's close to the exhibits, right? And then the staff room, which is that one. I delete all of that. What's this? Animal Trade Center. What's this? A research center. How much is the large um, staff room? Small staff room? Oh, they're all extortionate. Okay, well, let's put that back then. Because we can't afford anything bigger. I understand you're saying you can't find anywhere. I did have you on pause for that exact reason, but there you go. Um, okay, so they're doing pretty good for food and stuff. Um, I have been streaming for about three hours now, and I should probably stop, but I just love this game so much, I can't stop. Can't stop. I just can't stop. Oh my god, I think I need another caretaker. Jeez. I can't take a high workload. I have a high workload. I've got all this to deal with. Let's get one more. Because those bins are not great. So hopefully the next time the um, inspector comes in 18 months, we shall um, have better education because we've got all of these education points. Tapirs. What did we learn from the tapirs? Just some more stuff. Food quality. Fun facts and toy enrichment. Toy enrichment. Toy. Food toy. Interesting. Go on cash, thank you. I don't think we need a large quarantine at the minute, to be honest, because we're not getting a lot of animals in that need quarantining. Um, and a large research, we don't really need that yet, so I think I might get her onto um, some souvenir shops. Although, what is next? Release to the wild. Release one bear's tape here to the wild. Adopt two different habitat species. Adopt, was that adopt and place? Yeah, so we've got ostriches. So maybe we should work on the ostrich habitat before the inspector comes. Oh, good. So the beetles have more... Do you have anything new? No? Do you, do you guys have... No? Okay. 
Ostriches. Um, is it common ostrich? Yes, common ostrich. Okay, so not a lot of space. Great to one and a half meters, basically. Okay, well, I might just put these guys right here because I have some. What is this? One and a half. Okay, yeah, good. months for an inspector. Oh no, I need the, I need a door. Got a door, you got a gym. Alright, well you're gonna have to go there then. Um and then windows here. Windows. Um and this is gonna be how big is this? Is this big enough? Seven four two so just enough? We can always bring the back out more if, if we need more to give them more space. Um, come on, just select more than one, will you? No? Alright. Where's my quarantine? She's here, so move. Quarantine. Move. Quarantine. Move quarantine. Okay, so in terms of access, so let's um, actually work zones. I'm just adding them all into one work zone. I should really split them up. But we've only got this one large keeper hut at, at the minute anyway, which I think can fit four keepers in it. Um, how many keepers do we have? Three. Should probably get another one. Usually it's like one keeper per um, exhibit. Uh, exhibit? Habitat. Not exhibit. One keeper per habitat, really. And then we've got these exhibits as well, so it's just better to have, I guess, all of these. The thing is, because I could. I'm thinking growth, right? In terms of growth. When we, if we need like two more exhibits like this, I could make, because this habitat is a lot bigger than what the common warthog needs. So they only need 290 and they've got 872. So I'm thinking in future gro growth plans is to make this a bit shorter. Then I can fit two more exhibit points here and then the toilets I can upgrade to a large toilet block and put it here. I think that's actually pretty darn good. Oh, we should charge for the toilets. <gasps> Why are we not doing this? F 50 cents. Synchronize. You're not making us any money. You should be. Everything should make us money. We own a zoo, guys. Okay. I think that's that would be good. So I know the tapirs so far have way more space than uh, the ostrich are going to have. Actually, everyone I think has more space than the ostriches are going to have, apart from the pea fowls. Um, good, tapirs are doing good. Good. Whoa, 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 whoa. Warhog has matured. Did you see that? Did you see it? Did you see it, Mom? Did you see me? Let's just pause for a quick sec, actually, if we just do that, just go to, like, um, yeah, let's get these ostriches moved first of all, I've no idea what I'm doing, uh, move you to over here, where's the other ostrich? Where's the other ostrich? Vet surgery, oh no, she's sick! Why is she there? Why is she in the vet surgery? Mm. 
They must have found out she was sick. Um, okay, so ba 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 ba. No. All right. Warthogs. Let's just look at you for a minute. How long do warthogs live for? 18 years, front and back. Okay, um, and how old are they? Our, our OG couple? Oh, well they've got ages. So actually, yeah, you two. I mean, it takes ages. We're gonna release you guys to the wild. 14 points each, I'll take it. I will take it. Okay, you, can we move you to over here, please? Thanks. 18 years. Wow. Alright. Um, so we do need to put some education here. Uh, education board. Um, maybe put one here and maybe put another one because it's quite a long one there and then put you in the middle uh, uh, and then one of you guys in the middle here's another thousand bucks release a bear tapey to the wild have no crime for three months i think that's just gonna be pretty easy i think we, we basically have no crime uh, we've had no crime Got one security camera. Oh, we had a pickpocket. Pickpocket victims. What? What? Maybe we need another camera near the entrance. Maybe we should get a security camera near the entrance. Oh, maybe we should put one up here. Yeah, I think I think she needs a security camera up there. Unfortunately. Maybe I should get another security guard. As she grows, she needs more staff. Um, entrance work zone. God, so many... So many things are up right now. Uh, move... Uh, to here, please. Thank you. Oh, it looks so small for them. I'm sorry, I just hit the microphone. The space just looks so small for them, I actually feel kind of bad. Um, they just want short grass, pretty much. A little bit of, a little bit of soil. That's pretty much it. Maybe they need a little bit of rock. They're happy with no rock, but maybe just a little bit. Yeah, they do not have enough space. Look, it even says there. Um. But yeah, they do not have enough space. Now they've got space. Great. They're kind of happy. They're fine with having like no. No plants and no coverage, but I might just give them some stuff anyway. Um, so, biomes, we're looking at grassland and continent is africa this game is so much fun i seriously i can't get over how fun it is that's a fun plan isn't it um actually i think i prefer this tree that is too much coverage. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, what is your eye? Thanks, guys. 
Oh my god, it's half four. Oh my god, I've been playing this for like three and a half hours. Whoopsie doopsie. Oh. Actually, I think they're okay with just like a couple of trees. Doesn't look great, but I'm just gonna leave it at that because we can. Common ostrich, do you have. Oh, you do. Interesting. I didn't know if it had electricity. It does. Um, you're going to spread that far for the common ostrich. Um, and I'm going to figure out what they need. Oh, you get one of these as well. You birds like your feeders, don't you? We need your, your main feeders, though. We're going to need your main, your main feeders. There, and your water there. Um, toys? Oh, you do have some toys. So that's fun. Sprinkler, just in case. Scent marker. Uh, and you can have a ball. Do you climb? You don't climb. Do you need hard shelters? Let's have a look. You kind of want to, I think. Oh no, you don't need a hard shelter because you're just like field animals. Interesting. Interspecies bonus? Wait, what? Do they have an interspecies bonus? <gasps> well. They oh, they can go in with the warhawks? Are you serious? Edit barrier. Uh... Yeah, I'm going to do this whole section like that we're gonna move the warthogs in because we can um oh yeah so you guys are gonna be windowed we're gonna get we're gonna move oh, we're just gonna delete you really let's be honest Moving is a pain in the bum. We... I can't remember where this is. I'm too excited. No. No. There. 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 See anything up in it? You're gonna be a warthog. You're gonna be a warthog. Ooh. You're gonna be a warthog. I understand there's like no power to that one. You're gonna be an ostrich. You're gonna have money over there. You gonna be that big. I know you don't have electricity right now, but don't don't fret. We shall soon fix that. Animals. Um oh you did wait I thought you guys had a baby. Did it age up already? Do you guys not have a baby? Alright. Um box all animals please um move to this habitat, move to this habitat, and then we're going to get a hard shelter in here. This is exciting. This is exciting. We're putting things together. Common things are going together. Um, actually, I wonder if I could just move it so I don't have to spend or lose any money. guys go there um move all your plants over here incorrectly placed what information board there's an incorrectly placed education board well then let's delete it i think it's because it's there's no actual warthogs in there I should have just turned them off, really. Why didn't I just turn them off? 
and this is going to be an empty. This is just going to be empty. Um, uh, I'm just going to move all of their fun things. This is exciting. I didn't really know I could do this, but we, here we are. We're doing it. Uh, I'm just going to delete these plants to get them out of my way so I can see. Is there any other toys? There's a scent marker here. We can move that. Oh, my nose. Won't quit. My nose won't quit. Um, and we're just going to short grass this all up. So breed habitats, breed a new habitat animal, and release that. Okay, so when the, all the ostriches should hopefully breed together and that'll be fine. Oh, that's an ostrich. I was like, what is that? Yay, it's a species bonus 20%. Nice. Do you guys have enough terrain? You guys do too? Okay, great. Um... So this habitat needs to be called um, warthogs and ostriches. Ostriches? Like that? Is that how you spell ostriches? Possibly. Possibly. There's a sprinkler there, there's a sprinkler there. They're having all the sprinklers, all the fun. Maximum fun. Maximum food. They also have their regular feeders. That should um, work. And they have water over there. They have... Do they have a feeder? Do the ostriches have a regular feeder? Did I give them one? Did I give them one? I don't think I did. No, I didn't. Interesting. Um, there. You have that one. Is this a large one? Medium. I might just get them a large one because they deserve it. Let's be honest, they deserve it. All these ugly, ugly beautiful. Let's let's be clear. All animals are beautiful, but the more unloved. Because I mean, ostriches are mean. You know, it's not just that they're not one of the most beautiful. That they're, they're also mean. Why is this grass long over here? Just shorten, just shorten all this out. Okay, great. But that's fun. Okay, great. So now we have an empty. Um, we're gonna move this over here though. For more education. No power. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Okay. Looks like we might now need to expand into a second um, staff area in order to get power into this corner. Uh, this one? So it only reaches thus far. I could put something around the back here. They can get to. Because mm. if this. Oh, this could expand. If we add another animal, this could expand. Let me be this way. I could have a staff area behind here with a, uh, a pathway for visitors here that could maybe even go up above. I'm thinking out loud, really. Um, we won't worry about it for now, because we don't really need to. Um, let me call someone here. I 
how close together these do dodo bins need to be. Which is good. We've got warthogs and ostriches together, so they're going to have fun together. They get a little bit of interspecies um, bonus. Any other ugly creatures that can live with them? Oh, a tapir is about to mature. Nice, 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 nice. All right. I mean the wildebeest. Seven, well, I thought it was seven males. One male and up to 31 females. We can get one boy and then a bunch of girls. So the black wildebeest, the black wildebeest. Let's um, go by black wildebeest filter. Thank you very much. Prices? Not bad. I mean, she could be a good choice. I mean, we could have basically all the girls we want. Immunity's not great on that one. Oh, these boys are expensive. Mm, there's no boys for cash, and we don't have enough trading point. There's an albino! Okay, well, they're going to have to wait. They're going to have to wait. Zebras aren't really ugly. The rest of them aren't really ugly. Buffaloes aren't ugly either. The world bees, but they're gonna have to be saved up for. Um, no, not Zoopedia. I don't want Zoopedia. Go away. Oh. You. You're about to mature, they tell me. They tell me you're about to mature. Could you? Could you? Could you mature? I mean, now that we've got, you know what? Now that we've got, I think this, I think this warrants going up in price a little bit. Yeah. Now we've got ostriches together with the warthogs. I think, you know, these prices need to go up. Did he age up yet? Not yet. Oh, wait. <gasps> he aged up. He is up! Alright, time to release you into the wild! 20 points, not bad. Bye bye. Claim. Got $500 for that. Okay, we're not doing bad, we've got 7 grand. You know, almost 8 grand. Let's look, has anybody had any babies? If I release you to the wild, no, you're you're gold. We want to keep you. You're a good girl. You're gonna you're gonna give us lots of money. Oh, captive birth. Here we go. You, you, and you. By the looks of it, oh, just born, zero years old. Why can't we send you? Why can't we to trade on him? Sorry, what? Has died? Wait, what? A beetle died? <gasps> no. Okay, well, seems we need to get ourselves a beetle then, doesn't it? What were they called? T T T T T Titan beetles? Oh, you better be a boy. <sighs> They're all girls. I don't want girls. Why can't you? Oh, there we go. Captive birth center, trade center. Move to trade center, please. Education. Increase common warthog education to 14%. Common warthogs. Um, I could do that by literally getting power over there. I think that would do it. So let me actually, for now, we're going to create a staff um, pathway here. Um, 
And we're gonna put down some power. Just put this into a work zone. Real quick. Just can't quite afford to expand into a, se a second work zone yet. Um, so let's just do that. Uh, and that should have given us quite a lot of power yet. Yeah. Spreading out quite far. Actually. So they can go down there for some reason if they want i can start expanding this way then uh any hooser we have an empty place here apparently warthog, ed warthog education is down to 11 percent apparently um, warthog there and let's i guess move you there uh, and move you to snap onto there uh, and then move you to more like there and then maybe we should get another speaker maybe we should get another speaker here and say that you are also um warthogs and you can be that big, maybe maybe nine big. We moved just a smidgen, just just a smidgen there. Is that better? <laughs> maybe. Right, so you want what we really want, we want common ostrich there. Um so we really want to split this half half seas, don't we? big one over here because um, because of this area so I wanted to move it just a smidgen there uh, basically, just need more people to go down here, and they will do for other reasons when other things get down there. God, it's almost been another two-hour stream. I've been on this for almost four hours. I need to get a life. I was gonna do work today. I was gonna work on a commission today. Oops. You know what, Tanisha? Yeah, you know what, you're almost done. Uh, it's about to me to come and all hug mate, please. Yes. What? Well, yep. She's pregnant. She's great. Look at her run around. She's pregnant. I think I should probably save this Sue. I haven't yet. Oh. 
interesting. Apparently that auto saves. Almost there, kid. I think I have no idea. I have actually got no idea how. I oh, know you are almost there. Ostrich is about to have offspring. Can't find an accessible room with space. Staff room. Alright, it might be time to buy a big staff room. Alright, it might be time. Can we afford one? Um. No. Thousand bucks. Can we afford one? Technically, but apparently no. Guest numbers F seven hundred and fifty. Oh my god. Yes. Yes. Vet has not attended the habitat in a while. Well, how about we call her that? How about we call her that? It's been three years. And you're meant to go every six months, and it's been three years. Mechanic has been... Oh, no, that's not what I wanted. Can you, um... Let's call a mechanic. Let's just check before we have a breakout. An escape. Uh, we're also going to probably call a mechanic here as well. We're going to up this to every six months. Call a mechanic. I mean, we still only have three exhibits. So, you know, we still only have three exhibits. Um, facilities. We need guest facilities. Uh, merchandise, I guess. Balloony balloons. Um, yeah, we want a, we want this one. We want a just a memento. Just a memento. Edit. Good. Facilities. Just a memento. Just a memento. Um, actually, well, Lily Blues doesn't really get much of a cue, but maybe I should move it down. Just in case it gets a queue, you know, very well. Just, Just a momento. No. Mm -hmm. Um, we don't really have any like regular trash bins over here. Um Just thinking there's you know there's bins there, there's bins there. There's bins there. Low on cash. I've got three grand. How am I on cash? Spectre has arrived. Yeah. Okay. Let's try and keep this open. Um. I say let's try and keep this open. Can we empty? Wait, the Titan Beetles died. Hang on, hang on, hang on. We do have animals in the trading center. Exhibit trading. That was easy. Um, okay, we have no Titan beetles. So now is a chance to put something else in that space or get more titan beetles in which case we only there's only a now there's a boy anyway we can put a frog in there maybe you know we can maybe get put a frog in there and this is going to be lamar's poison frog 
and leg on to poison frog your climate is fine but you probably need like way more you're like literally about there actually 86 looks good to me pardon me Layout's not great, obviously, because we need to research you. Oh, the tide. Tanisha, get on them. Get on them. Oh, yay. That means ostriches have some stuff. Uh, habitat enrichment. Let's just look at Austria. Well, we've done all that. So they've, they've, yeah, they're fine. They've got all that. Release one bear's tapir to the wild, and I'll get 500. Uh, have they had a baby yet? Guest numbers have at least 150 guests in the zoo. So we're at 375. Okay, so I need to get more. Warthog education needs to be higher. Oh, Warthog's having offspring! We're having another baby! Can we just speed it up? Ostriches have babies! Look at all the babies! Aww! She's laying down. One. Just the one? Probably just the one because. Ostriches have had quite a few. So the animals in here now. Yep, ostriches had um, had three babies, and the warthogs had one baby. Indian pea files, five stars. Just coming over here to inspect the warthogs and the ostriches now. Surprise that she'd go there first rather than to the bear's tapirs first. Fine. Um, can we maybe call a keeper here? Because this looks like a mess. There's only two in there, they haven't had a baby yet. Oh, they're about to mate. Okay, so they could get pregnant. This time. Yep, they're expecting offspring. Great. So, these should charge like, like 25 cents. I mean, they didn't. I don't think he was taking any money out. Take money up. There you go. That's under some money, so that's nice. Current level cleanliness. Call mechanic. Does a mechanic do that? Maybe we should get more mechanics. We only have two, and it's pretty high workload. I think we should get another mechanic. Um, Five star, it'll be the education that brings us down. Currently have two and a bit stars. Marketing, zero marketing. Oh, oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> Excuse me. Marketing campaign. One year, it's a thousand pound, a thousand dollars for one year, thousand dollars, five thousand for high impact marketing, Div divisive marketing, two and a half thousand. Oh, I did that. Online viral videos, banner ads. Should we spend half of our current? No, we can maybe put. Maybe 
do put a thousand into that. See if that gets us any any more people. I should probably stop soon because it has been almost four hours. I'm getting quite hungry. Um, so yeah, I think we'll leave. We'll wait until the inspector is done, um, and we'll probably call it there. Oh, sorry, I keep knocking this microphone. I'm not used to wearing it. Oh. Okay, that's better than last time. That is better than last time. Last time we got like nothing, for, or it was like one stack was red for education. Yeah, I'm a bit. I can smell both dinner cooking and there was cake baking earlier, so I'm pretty hungry now. And my phone's been going off with like messages that I'll need to get to. I was gonna do some embroidery today, so <laughs> we should probably do some of that this afternoon, this evening now. Um. So yeah, that's good. We have four different types of animals and um, two exhibitions. They're all pretty ugly, but kind of good and cute in, this, in their own way. I mean, that's four stars overall, which has brought us up to two and a half. Education is still low. Thirst, oh, thirst and hunger isn't being that completely interesting. So maybe when we return to the zoo, we'll um, build up a bit. So I'll save it. Oh, save Zoo there. Um, yeah, so I think... Um, if I just go here, I think what we'll do is... Um, yeah, I'll leave it there. Um... And next time we'll probably just work on filling those thirst and hunger needs and maybe putting, try and see if we can get any wildebeest, they're pretty expensive, into that mixed habitat and make that bigger and, and maybe start looking at elevating some pathways and going over some, some habitats, that could be fun. Definitely getting a second work zone. It's just the money. The money is like the only part that makes it difficult to do that because the buildings are so expensive but maybe we look at getting just the shells and building our own building around the shells maybe that might be cheaper because all those separate bits do make it more expensive um and then maybe that entrance area we can also revamp or maybe between streams i do that because it could be a bit boring to do it um during stream but yeah that was that's the plan. It's it's our glove. I kind of love. I love the uh, whole concept of it. And this is just Europe. This is just France franchise one, the Europe one. So we've got a long way to go to get a big, big corporation of zoos. But yeah, that was fun. Um, thanks for joining. Thanks for getting in chat and having fun. I hope you guys have a great weekend. What you've got left and yeah we'll see you next time i'll probably i'm going to try and stream more regularly so like i streamed this tuesday and a stream today and i think i'm just gonna maybe keep it to that so like tuesday nights and saturday daytime but i might move saturday stream up a bit maybe start earlier because if if we are going to put in like four hours on planet zoo then i might maybe want to finish earlier than, than dinner time 